Hey guys, Quest here. In this 10 minute build, we're gonna do a small farm with some character. Just like last time, the clock is moving, so let's get going. All right guys, as you can see, I found a nice little spot for our build. In this chest, again, are all the materials that we're gonna need, plus the quantity of the items that we're gonna use. So let's do this. All right guys, we're gonna start with this side of the farm. Now we're gonna use a combination of the stone brick wall, the spruce fence, and the spruce fence gate to make the look for this side. As you can see here on the bottom, we're alternating between the stone brick wall, two fence gates, and a regular fence. This makes up the bottom of this entire side. Now once we top off our first column with a stone brick wall and a spruce plank, we're gonna continue on and do the top of this side. This literally consists of basically doing the same thing that we did on the bottom. Now we need to get ourselves up top. We're gonna to alternate using spruce planks and then we're gonna fill in the gaps that we made with spruce trap doors. Now this is where we pull out our campfires. We're gonna use a lot, so stay with me. Starting on the first plank, we're gonna make a row straight back 11 spaces. Now after we put out all our fires, we're going to use three regular fences here on the corner. Then we're going to use fence gates all the way down underneath, but leaving two spaces at the end. Now after placing this hanging lantern, it's basically just rinse and repeat for the next two rows. Don't forget to leave those two spaces at the end. Now that we're on this side, we're just gonna duplicate what we did on the first side. I'm gonna give you guys a little different angle here so you can see what it looks like as it goes up. And on this top side, we're just copying what we did on the other side. Now do you see why I told you to keep those two spots empty? Now that we're done with both sides, we're gonna start working on the entrances. Now, these are both gonna look the same on either side, so just follow along with me here. We're gonna stack ourselves three high here because we're just too short to finish this entrance off. Again, I'm gonna give you this different angle. I hope these wider views help you to understand the build just a little more.
Now that we're done with the entrances, we need to go to the chest and grab all the material that we need to use for the inside of the farm. Since this is our farm, we're going to use a couple composters here in case you want to get rid of that extra seed. And then we're going to use barrels for storage because I think they look a little better than chest here. Now we're going to pull out our shovel here to make the path. We're going to start in front of the barrels and the composters because this will make it easier for us to design the path. After we're done with the outline of our path, we're going to clear out everything inside except for a 3x3 square right in the middle of the farm. Now that we're done with the path, we're going to tidy up the edges a little with some trap doors. This will just make the farm look a little better. Now is the time to actually do the farm part. In each of these four corners, we're going to dig down a couple blocks to add some water so we can actually plant our seeds. For the sake of this video, I'm just planting wheat, but you guys can plant whatever you like. You can do some carrots, you can do some potatoes, and there's even enough room if you wanted to, you could do some melons. That is completely up to you. Looking at these angles actually makes me think that melons will look cool in the back. Why don't you guys give it a try in your world and then comment down below and tell me how it turns out. No, that was not my mic. My voice did crack and I feel just as awkward as you do. Now it's time to turn our attention to the 3x3 square we left earlier. We need to do a last little bit of planning and then we have to go grab the final pieces of our farm. We're going to create our centerpiece with a regular stone brick, a stone wall, and a lantern on top. And with that, our farm is 100% complete. And we did it again in under 10 minutes. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see future 10 minute builds, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time guys, I'll catch you later.